be welcome here, Don Rothero. He's, uh, he's from England and he is a director and filmmaker. I would like to ask you if uh, when you started with filming, was it your wish from your childhood? Um, no, I was, uh, my wish from my childhood was, was to be a writer. Um, and later I decided to go into filmmaking because it seemed a more sociable uh, occupation. And I'd always loved films. <laughs> And your family, do you have also filmmakers? Or are they, um... No, no, none at all. No, no. No, when did you start to make films? Um, probably when I was about um, 20. I bought a VHS camera and started making uh, sort of films with uh, friends acting in them. And, uh, my wife acting in them and cutting them at home. And why did you choose uh, the filmmaking? Filmmaking itself, because yeah. I always loved films and realized I liked writing and that could that's involved in films. <laughs> and. Um, and I like the idea of um, working with other people rather than just by myself all the time, like writers have to. And film was also an obsession, always an obsession for me. I was always going to the cinema. Uh, so, and do you have some idol in filmmaking, or do you have just your ideas in making films by your own? I wouldn't say there's anybody I kind of try to, you know, copy. I mean, there's people I like. I'm, you know, I love Orson Welles, um, but also find uh, Jean Goulart very interesting. But um, I wouldn't say that, you know, Orson Welles certainly wouldn't say he's an influence on my work, but um, he's somebody, you know, who I um, think is, you know, a great filmmaker. And who? And Johnny Gubber. You you make a, a very successful movie. It's called Sarah Diary, but it was very dangerous to go to this country. Why did you decide to make this movie? Um, because I, was, I knew Yugoslavia before the war, and I was upset about the situation that was going on there. documentary movies and afterwards you change it uh, for live action films. Why? Mm, I didn't really change. I, I was always making fiction. Sarajevo was the first documentary I ever made and so was, when I was making films by myself I was, I was always making fiction um, but documentaries were easy to get money for and while I was making the documentaries I was writing the scripts for the fiction films so they always kind of went at the same time. But uh, do you prepare in a new movie? Um, yeah, I'm working on a sort of um, a, a documentary for cinema at the moment um, about sex workers. Uh, 
we are uh, deaf uh, pupils mm. and we are also interested if you have <coughs> ever met some deaf filmmaker in Gravitan. No, I haven't I'm afraid. And uh, would you like to cooperate with a deaf person for example? Cooperate? No, I always cooperate, <laughs> of course. In this festival, the Fresh Film Fest, do you think it's important to have this kind of festival when the students can send their movies? Yes, of course. Yes, very much. And why? Because you know, you need, people need to see the films by people who are starting out, and to sort of um, to give people a chance to show the films to an audience. member of the jury this year, uh, is it difficult to choose the best movies? I don't know because we haven't seen them, we've only seen half of them, so... Okay, and it was the last question, thanks well for our interview okay. and uh, for sure a lot of success in your work. Thank you, pleasure. Cheers. I'm sorry but I have to... Rush because I've got the yeah, Q and A yeah, now. Yeah. It's it's okay. Thanks. Right, cheers.